Hello everybody! Today's video is a little bit different because it's going to be a traditional art video because I've been doing so many digital drawings lately I wanted to change things up a bit so I did a little biro drawing and I coloured it in with inks and it was just so fun for me I actually forgot how kind of relaxing I find the whole traditional drawing process I actually think it is really fun to do and sometimes when I go back to doing that it's just really really nice for me and I actually live stream this whole process on my second channel I've been live streaming on there a lot more frequently now. So that is how I went about creating this drawing and in this video I wanted to talk about a few things. I mostly wanted to talk about the art community and sharing your art online. So I think it is great as a creator of art or any other kind of content to share what you're doing online. I have been posting my drawings I think ever since I got deviant art which was years and years ago. But when I was first sharing my art, we didn't have apps like Drawing Amino. There weren't many things specifically for sharing your art other than really deviant art. And I'm not quite sure if Pagey World was around when I was 13. It probably was, but I didn't use it. And I, I really wish I knew about Drawing Amino sooner because using Drawing Amino has been so nice for me. And I know I would have loved to have used it back then as well when I was a beginner artist but today I have teamed up with Drawing Me Note to talk to you about sharing your art online and basically talk to you about the app in general and I know I've spoken about it a lot on this channel before but that is just because I absolutely love Drawing Amino. I think it is an amazing app and I think it's a really good community. So if you've never shared your art before, I really do think you should start now because it's one of the best ways to get better at anything. Feedback will make you a better artist and it's just so fun to post what you've been working on and find out what people think about it. Especially if you're doing fan art then you can meet friends who like the same kind of things as you, have the same kind of interests and that's what I think is so great about drawing me you know is because you can find things like that. Because sometimes I'll be looking on Instagram for specific artists or artists who have done fan art of particular things that I like but so many things that people post on the hashtags just aren't relevant to what I'm looking for. It's because Instagram isn't made solely for artists but Drawing Amino is literally specifically made for artists so it's just a really good like tailored experience to people who create art. Another reason why I recommend using Drawing Amino is you can get inspiration. That is one of the things I end up doing a lot. I often find myself very unmotivated and whenever I open up something like Drawing Mino and look at people's art, there's literally every kind of art there like fan art or something crafty like DIY kind of stuff or people posting their own OCs. Also the fact that there are different kind of contests and events that go on and challenges. Um, that I find is very helpful because sometimes when I'm out of ideas of things to draw, I'll have a look on Drawing Amino and see what challenges people are suggesting. And you can make your own challenges and post them to Drawing Amino and have people enter your own challenge. So if you've got any good ideas for challenges, I definitely recommend making your own one. Another thing is I know the anxiety that you can sometimes feel when it comes to posting your art online. I often have people say to me oh Jenna I would absolutely love to share my drawings online but I feel like I'm no good and I'm too scared to and just this feeling of being scared that you're gonna be judged but I can tell you from experience people on drawing me know are actually excited to like and comment on stuff and everyone's so lovely and kind and I have actually had experiences where I haven't had that kind of community and I have had people not be so kind and that, I think I just had a bit of a bad deviant art experience so in complete contrast with that my experience on drawing amino has been quite the opposite. There are lots of other aminos as well that isn't just drawing amino there's art amino, there's arts and OCs amino, there's beginner artists amino, there's also aminos for poetry and writing and sometimes there's aminos for your favorite shows. I know there's a Steven Universe amino, there is a K-pop amino which I'm also part of and honestly there's just aminos for everything. <laughs> there's a photography amino as well, like any kind of interest you have, not just art based stuff. You can also download apps for any kind of specific interest you may have and honestly I just think that's great. 
I think it's such a good idea because you can make so many cool friends and connect with people who like the same kind of things as you. There's also a new Amino feature which is called Avatar Chat which allows you to video chat with other users from around the world by creating your own custom avatar or choosing a pre-created one which I think is pretty cool. So you can also create your own avatar by using a picture of yourself. So I definitely recommend that you guys download Drawing Amino today and start sharing art with everyone and hopefully even make some art friends. I've made some art friends through Drawing Amino, people I can just talk about my characters with and they'll talk about theirs as well and upload your drawings and partake in the contests and it's just honestly so much fun. And if you do end up joining Drawing Amino, make sure you follow me, I am Jenna Drawing on there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!